I've got an Echeveria here, sent out in the post by uh, a company that I deal with and uh, it came back from the customer because uh, the uh, the postal system hadn't been too kind to it and then uh, it was over watered by the person the other end so it's come back to them and they've said well we can't do anything with it do you want it as one of your hospital cases and I've said yes I've removed uh, any rotting or really bad leaves from from sort of underneath there and then I've let the compost dry out I can't decide or not whether it's got um, some spider mite in here what I'm going to do is I'm going to repot this into a clean pot I'm going to remove any leaves that have turned sin and then I'm going to sort of quarantine it in its own little bubble so let's crack on so I've got a nice clean disinfected pot and lots of holes in the bottom uh, in fact the reason I've chosen this one is it's a uh, one from a uh, heather and they like nice well drained pots I've got a makeshift mix that I've made here and in this compost mix there's some uh, multi-purpose compost there's some old seed based compost which is soil based and then I've got a little bit of potting grit in there a few handfuls of that uh, a little bit of vermiculite where you can't really see it and the white stuff you can see is perlite so lots of drainage quite light I've pre-watered this so there is some moisture in there I have stripped off as much compost as I can from the roots and that's the reason why I let this dry out first is I don't like their roots handled when they're too wet and now I'm going to just peel off some of these leaves that are remaining but not up to much so you just pull them off like that any ends like that where the leaf is snatched but it's not doing anything just taking them off you can see here ah that's interesting might be some mealy bug on this I think what I'm gonna do is take some of these larger leaves off I just want to leave how's that looking sort of a small crown that leaves a bit damaged let's take that one off and I'll take all these large ones off I'm after just a small rosette because also I want it to put some effort into rerouting establishing roots and I want to try and get rid of the worst of those pets have a little look in the crown there looks okay so that's my plant there significantly smaller but hopefully it will pick up I've worked out my depth I want my depth to be about there so that's about where it's going to go now I'm just going to infill okay and now here it is I've just gradually filled up this compost level firmed down gently as I've gone and it's up to this level here this compost is wet so I'm not going to water it. it it's it's plenty moist enough for the conditions I've stuck a label in it I'm going to double check the variety I think I know which one this is but I'm just going to double check the variety with where I've got this from and I'm going to place in a tray like this See the other bits are just quarantined in the corner there. I'm going to spray that with disinfectant in a moment. Get rid of all this rubbish. And now, as part of the quarantine and also to give it a bit of a boost, I'm going to put this used pocket over it. It's a document wallet. And there it is in the document wallet, in the tray. And just tied up there if I want to water it which it won't need much of at all I'll, I can water from the tray or I can just take that off water it and then put it back on again I can't see signs of any pests in there but I'm just gonna put it like that and quarantine it into a corner keep it away from everything else it's seven and a half weeks later and 
my plant finally comes out of quarantine. Probably a lot longer in plant prison than I needed. I've not really watered it. I've watered it once, I think, since it's been in there and just checked it for the mealy bug and potential other pests and it's been fine. It's looking lush. Yeah, the leaves are in good shape and it's securely in there. Fantastic. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more, please uh, like and subscribe.